Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. So today I am going to discuss about DSO. DSO. See, I am having this DSO. This is C deck. Voltage 100 volts to 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz, 15 watt. Okay, it's very lightweight and easy to carry. Hmm? See, in uh, our training time, we were using CRO, cathode ray oscilloscope. Now, it's a DSO, digital signal oscilloscope. Hmm? So, purely digital, lightweight. Okay. You may take any brand, any kind of oscilloscope, I mean DSO. So, almost all functions will be same. So, just I am going to give basic introduction of DSO. Okay, not thoroughly, some basic. Uh, to do the chip level service, what are the settings we have to do? Those settings I am going to tell you. This is basic class, okay, this is only introduction class. <coughs> In future you will get advanced one. See, here is the power button. Here channel 1, channel 2, two channels we can use, okay. What are those in future we can discuss. Here, run, stop, auto set, utility, measure, are you able to see, just a minute, see, utility, auto set, run, stop, cursor, acquire, measure, HRO, Trigger, Scale, Position, Multipurpose. So, so many knobs are there. This is, yellow color is channel 1, blue color is channel 2. Okay. We know Force Copy. Here it's a 5 volts and this one is ground. Mm, some basic buttons are there to select the particular options ok and here power supply section uh, this we can connect to the laptop or PC ok anything else so one plus point is so it's a lightweight hmm. one more is USB port using this USB you can record your uh, data ok what for the signal uh, you got in previous uh, troubleshooting time those things you can check in your uh, uh, laptop or uh, desktop okay you can re-glance it <coughs> now I'll give the power supply okay power button start uh, see it is going now For this cable will, uh, will be there, uh, that is looks like this, ok, this is a channel 1, channel 2. So at present I am showing you channel 1, hmm? just it's like a bulb, you can turn it, it will fix. See when it's switch on, so nothing will be there, one straight line, ok, some boxes will be there and here 1 volts, 5 volts that yellow color mark is there right so that is for channel 1 see this yellow mark so color coding is uh, has given this is channel 1, 1 volt selected 1 volt in the sense see this is the box see from here if you select from this so this box is called 1 volts ok 1 volts means it's a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 not like that it is a 20 each ok 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 it is a millivolts hmm? if you count it as a millivolts then it, this will become 1 volts 
वन बॉक्स इज वन वोल्ट इन केस इफ यू इंक्रीज द वोल्ट हाँ इट्स अ डिक्रीज वन सो इफ यू इंक्रीज द वोल्ट वन बॉक्स इज कॉल्ड टू वोल्ट एग्जैक्ट ऑफ इज वन वोल्ट ओके दिस इज बिकॉज सी हाउ मेनी बॉक्सेस आर देयर वन टू थ्री फोर ओनली फोर बॉक्सेस इन केस ऑफ ट्वेंटी वोल्टेज इफ यू गेट देन इट विल इट विल बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू शो सो दर द रीजन इयर सम वोल्टेज सेटिंग्स वी हैव टू डू अंडरस्टूड ठीक है इयर सम कंटेंट्स आर देयर वॉट आर दोस लेटेस्ट चेक वन बाय वन नाउ फर्स्ट from channel 1 only we will come okay channel 1 what we will get this is coupling dc coupling ac coupling and ground usually for service so we have to keep it dc coupling okay this invert invert if it is on it will show mirror image so ulta top one comes down one okay that's called invert in prop setting so it should be in one when frequency uh, kind of things if you are going to measure in that case you need to keep it for 10 okay here it's showing 1x 10x 100x 1000x 1x in the sense 1 into 1 okay 1 into 10 10 volts so each box i mean each knob will be 10 volts not 1 volts in case if you are selecting 10 volts similarly if you select it's a 1000 1000 into 1 1000 volts like that hmm? okay should be in one volts only see in this cable one more option is there 10x and 1x whenever it's required you can just you click here i mean a slide here it will become 10x okay that also one option is there slowly we can check it now this channel 1 over okay channel 1 here it will show the voltage if i keep it 5 volts then each box each box has 5 volts 5 volts in the sense from year to year from year to year this is 5 volts 10 volts 15 volts 20 volts if i increase the voltage now 5 volts is the maximum okay you can change the position see this is the position from here it will start hmm? okay channel 1 over in any dso channel 1 in the sense here it's a voltage level this box level count okay that's it you can take unit or any other uh, brand so this is the common thing second same as channel 1 channel 2 is a similar one okay same uh next come to utility hmm utility see in the function if you go to utility function option will be there there is a display configure okay adjust save update here if i come first one configure option is there english key lock device is pc or usb tvm3 pc anything you can okay you can keep it so again if i press this one display second option display if you plus see if you click here click here what are the changes you will get that we will check display in the sense it's a backlight see if i go for adjust self calculation calibration default probe check okay you can save it or ignore it yeah, we can update it also in configuration language will come key lock device okay in display backlight led see if i select this 0 20 40 60 80 100% this is the brightness okay and the next uh, this one see graticule this dot 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 is there now that is graticule how we want we can uh, change it see changing here one second i'll show you dot dot change 
see here it's changing hmm? just observe once again okay hmm. and menu time 10 seconds see 5 seconds 10 seconds 15 seconds menu okay it will show after 10 seconds and next uh, measure okay in measure see this channel 1 channel 1 if you press channel 1 here you can add what are things you want here you can add see I will show you first 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 add channel uh, uh, uh. if you want pair, uh, period so you just you click here so here it will come time second one frequency if you want frequency you can add it okay here it came hmm? third one mean okay that also you can add it hmm? next pk pk something is there you can add rms you can add maximum you can add minimum you can add top you can add came right oh, okay. see all the things you can see here hmm? now utility over hmm? mm, measure also over see remove channel if you want remove you can remove it what are the settings everything will go okay remove all everything will go so now mm, in auto settings if you press it will reset it what are the previous one will be there so by default it will take okay now this cursor come to the cursor ah, see type auto cursor if it is voltage voltage only it will show time time it will show here you change the i mean here you can see the changes auto cursor let it be auto cursor okay hmm. this is nothing has to be done see these lines okay source channel 1 hmm? we are selecting channel 1 then acquire acquire is a sample peak detect m4 something is there okay let it be sample hmm? this type vector dots vector i will show you what is this okay now persist off one second two second infinity off xy mode if you press it on so this xy mode will come hmm? quarter on okay see if i tell you orally you can't understand anything so here is the 5 volts supply is there that i will give and then i will explain one by one see this is the ground part so first you need to give the ground Uh, yes, one more option is there. Yeah, this one we have to close. And yes, ah, something came here. What is this? This is 5 volts. 5 volts. Here, 5 volts I given. So, one box. I'll take the position, correct position. I previously I told you channel 1 is the one box. One box is nothing but 5 volts. If I reduce, so reduce to 2 volts means it's 2 and half box is called 2 volts. Okay, it's exactly square wave. Here yes, scale is there. Okay, scale. See, the timings you can increase and decrease. If you increase the time, you can see the broadband. Hmm? See, this channel. If you decrease the time, it will keep on go. Just you try to reduce the time. Okay. Here 2 volts I kept. Again I will change to 1 volts. See, I can't see. Right. So, I will keep, I will bring it down. It's very big. Right. Hmm. 
this is channel 1 1 volt instead of 1 volts you have to keep 5 volts see why it's moving that I'll tell you the reason now it's 2 volts here trigger one option is there trigger just bring it here that moment will get stop okay that's called trigger 50 percent hmm. okay now uh, what is the voltage here see maximum minimum all it will show that length okay i made some wrong settings then i want to go for uh, uh, previous settings in that case just go to auto set and click it here see automatically it will adjust this is 5 volts 2 volts each ok here if you want like this it will select like this if you want like this like this like this like this ok this is the settings of auto set and channel 1 hmm? and now we will go to utility again display we already showed uh, nothing to be changed here so again I will go to utility uh, utility is over backlight uh, this one grid already explained you ok next measure channel 1 already I told you this alert already is there ok voltage root mean square voltage exact voltage is 5 volts ok then square sample peak see something it's showing don't worry about this ok keep it sample here vector see dots understood what is vector and what is dot this is vector hmm? this is dots dot in the sense this upper portion will show by dots or direct line ok here these options over and cursor see if I press cursor auto cursor something voltage cursor something is there time time and voltage auto cursor ok keep it auto cursor now uh, again if you go to auto reset so it will show like this ah, grid we will change grid 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 go to utility ah, grid we want dot 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 okay. this will be better hmm. now here on menu is there so in menu see coupling is AC DC AC DC only two slope see forward slope not much change hmm? practically I am showing no changes at all slope ok here some changes will happen ok next what else this portion over and here see here nothing to do and here position see this position will move here the trigger which I told it's not working right so now it will work now the position see left and right this one position left and right hmm? now this one up and down position up and down ok uh, there is no much settings here one more is scale that already I showed you see the scale increase and decrease seconds nanoseconds if you reduce the seconds means here width you will get big one you will get ok what is that big signal hmm? ok that's it this is the basic function now how we will use in 
a motherboard chip level service this dso uh, for example i will take a board and i will show you practically just it's a common setting general settings and a general uh, view i will show you not in depth okay mm, okay i will remove this one now i'll keep it aside take a board uh, i have taken a board here see this one is nm a311 nm a311 okay one of our friend told me to show the plt rst how it looks and uh, some of friends told me to show the yes, uh, what is that uh, sdacl in battery section how it looks okay practically we will check hmm hmm this board this is the battery section first i will show you the battery section how it comes and then one by one plt rst i will show you and uh, bias ic also i will show you and coil voltage also i will show you okay yeah what the key something the star i'll keep you can see the voltage properly hmm? here you can see now i'll give power supply this motherboard once again i'll tell you this is lenovo one nm a311 okay nm a311 ah see now i'm going to give power supply to this it's on or uh, not that i don't know okay it's in standby mode hmm? in standby mode what is the condition i will tell you hmm? first we will check the dc in in cro okay first any model you have to put the ground okay and then this prop put the ground see here is the dc jack right so nearby ground this is the one okay so remove this see this is 19 volts just what you have to do is just press auto set i'll show you clearly i'll show you clearly just you press auto set okay see now i am keeping the probe in 19 volts okay just press auto set here it's showing 9 volts because only 2 volts is showing so in channel 1 i'll make it as a 5 volts then it become 20 volts okay this is pure dc 20 volts here this box should be 5 volts if you keep lesser than 5 volts the result will show off okay see here it's 9.2 it's showing but should be 5 volts okay i'll show you here here 2 volts is showing so keep it 5 volts then you will get 20 volts okay got my part okay next ah battery section okay first we will check this battery section how it will show hmm see here by ground this positive okay 
is positive here 2.54 battery having 2.54 voltage okay now at present it is in off condition it's in standby mode hmm? now i will show you this coil okay what are the voltage these two coils just i will keep it here and i will show you hmm? see here something is showing 5 volts okay that one box 5 volts right here it's a 5 volts that's why this is one box is 5 volts okay if i reduce the voltage channel voltage see two and of box is equal to 5 volts this is output side hmm? see if i keep it input side what will be the result see i remove and again the keep it this is input side just you reduce the what is that see you can reduce the scale so then here also it will get reduced okay This is the input section of 5 volt section. Position down. Okay, this is the input voltage. See, if I increase the timings, so it will show like this. If I decrease, it will show like this. Got it? This is actually 5 volts coil section. This 5 volts coil input section. It looks like this. output section direct to dc see this is a 5 volts the position reduce from here to here it's a pure dc hmm? next 3 volts dc 3.5 showing 3.3 voltage coil output section and coil input section got my point so all coil input section it looks like this okay now <coughs> in bias section i'll come bias ic hmm? see slowly i'm telling so this is not our speed okay this is bias section here pin number 1 pin number 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 5 6 7 8 hmm one by one i will show you what you will get pin number 1 pin number 1 1.75 volts see pin number 1 1.75 volts This is 1.8 volts bias. I see. Okay. Pin number two. Pin number two. That also 1.75 volts. Pin number three. 1.75 volts. There is no variation. It's a straight line. Pin number four is the ground. Nothing will happen. Pin number five. pin number 5 also 1.75 is so 5 volts so i'll keep it as a 2 volts okay if lesser volt then i'll make it as a 1 volts then easily you can understand okay this is pin number 5 of bias ic pin number 6 1.79 volts straight line pin number 7 One point. See, it's varying. Hmm? Why it's varying? You have to check the schematic. One point seven nine to one point eight three. Okay. Last one, pin number eight. 
1.83 VCC. Okay, why in one pin it's 1.8 and the other pin it's 1.75 something? That you have to understand by schematic. Okay, this is bias IC. This is bias IC in DSO. Hmm? Now, PLT RST, one of our uh, friend wanted that PLT RST, how it looks. So, for that, see, here is the section, here is, what is that, RPC 17, RPC 17, a network register is there. Here pin number 1 is PLT RST. Okay, that we will check using DSO. Before that, we will switch it on. So we turn on. Okay. Okay, previous, let's see, before turn on, what will be the voltage? That also I will show you. See, it automatically when I kept this DSO uh, probe automatically turned on. Hmm? I will turn it off. Once again, I will check PLT RST. Okay. Hmm? There will be no voltage. Now I will turn it on the motherboard. How it will confirm it's on or not that I will show using keyboard. Okay, keyboard. See, this is now in on condition. is in on condition okay in on condition i will show you plt rst how it looks like in number one see this is plt rst 3.01 volts PLT RST. Okay, this is not signal. This is straight voltage. PLT RST. Okay, now I will show you the battery section. SDASCL. In on condition. So, battery is here. Each pin I will show you how display you will get. Okay, one by one. See pin number, battery positive side. Okay, next pin 3.4 volts. So I'll increase the voltage, channel voltage to 2 volts. Then we can come to know 3.4 volts. Okay, 3.4 volts. 3.4 volts. Other pin 3.12 volts. One more pin. This color grown. See, this is this DACL. See, SCL. Let's do this auto. What it took? Straight line. Okay. Here also straight line. 
when you put the battery when it communicates with the battery then you will get the pulsated dc okay in future classes i'll show you what will be the pulsated uh, dc it will be like this i'll show you that take this time see this is the battery coil Reduce the scale, position, and here voltage will increase. One volts, trigger. Here I'll make it run and stop. Okay, then I'll increase the voltage here. I'll take up the position. Scale. If I increase or decrease, it looks like this. Same kind SDACL also you will get. Okay, if communication will happen. Okay. Same. Um, all coil voltages will come like this only. Similar. And one more coil voltages I will show you. This is. 1.42 showing okay position the up and auto see 1.45 1.3 1.35 which coil it's ram ic okay ram ic see almost all pwm coil will show like this so that is the scale Because after feedback, again it will turn on. Again, the same process will continue. Okay. Next, CPU section. This time, the ground, ground, ground. Uh, I'm searching for ground. Ground. And here, CPU coil. See. This is the core voltage. I will increase the voltage here, channel voltage, to two volts, sorry five volts. Then you see this kind of signal you will get core voltage. Output nothing will be there. It's a straight line. Around uh, 800 milli volts, and input. And input will get like this. Okay, trigger. Almost 760 nanoseconds. Voltage will be around 700 to 800. This is core voltage input. This is output section. Coil input I told. So this is the output section is straight line. So position, if you see, straight line. Okay. Today's basic class. That's it. In Future, we will do advanced kind of practical videos. Hmm? In crystal, how it looks? Those things I will explain in future classes. If anything is there, please put it in comment. I will give you answer. Okay? Thank you. Thanks for watching.